Hey y'all, welcome to Sweet Tea and Butterflies. Uh, we are doing, um, we're part of the Crafter Stash collaboration for September, and I've got two fall projects for you, and it's all about pumpkins this month. Your hosts, your host is Sunflower Tasha DIY, your guest host is Sun Arts, and we've got a giveaway for an Amazon gift card. I will leave the instructions also in the description box. As And I will also leave the hosts channels and um, the playlist link in the description box as well. So I am making, well, I'll let you watch and see what I'm making. I'm taking some air dry clay. And as you can see, I'm just kind of rolling it, trying to shape it, um, and I had, <laughs> I had to rethink how I was shape, uh, trying to get the shape I was looking for, so I just eventually just ended up squishing it down and rolling it, <laughs> rolling it out. It, you know, it can be a challenge sometimes when you're sitting there contemplating how to do a project. Or how to, you know, bring something to life there. And, you know, you think, oh, okay. Uh, you know, in your mind, you're thinking, oh, I'll do it, you know, do it this way. It should work fine. No. I had to rethink a little bit, but I got it. Um, I'm using the air dry clay. And if you use a little bit of water um, on moistening your fingers, Oftentimes you can smooth out any imperfections in the clay as you're working with it. <clears throat> so I've about got that, almost got that done. And I took and, and used my knuckle to kind of make a concave in there. And now I'm, so that's the cap to a mushroom. And now I'm making the, the stem of the mushroom. That's much easier to do. <laughs> it's a lot easier to do. Not that the cap was overly difficult. I just had to overthink it for a few minutes. Welcome to my life. I overthink everything. Anyway, you can see I've got me a little helper there. and <laughs> He had to put his uh, two cents worth in there. He's like, oh, I got to leave my mark on it, too. Let me help, Mom. <laughs> He's such a little stinker. Ah, there he goes again. <laughs> I'm sitting there telling him, no, 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 don't touch that. Don't need your help with this project, Smokey. <laughs> He's like, okay, fine. <laughs> That seems to be his, uh, if my lap is taken by anything, then he lays on my legs right there. So anyway, I used a little bit of water to moisten the, um, that concave that I put in there, um, to moisten it so that it would adhere to the, um, stem of the mushroom. And now I'm just, um putting uh, the mushroom on a round, uh, little round wooden uh, cutout. I got a whole package of different um, cutouts from Hobby Lobby. And it came with, I forgot how, I think there's eight of each in there and there's a, a circle, an oval, a square. Circle, oval, and square. Yeah, I think that's it. I don't know. Anyway, that's where um, I got the little round from. And now I'm taking and um, some of the Waverly pumpkin, uh, and I'm painting the cat, the mushroom cap with it, because this is going to be, you know, a fall uh, decor piece, and these. These little things are perfect for a tiered tray. And I did one for Halloween in a previous video. I will leave the link for that 
in the description box um, as well so that you can go back and watch the Halloween one too. I plan on doing these for each holiday and or season. Um, it, it would make for a nice little set and they're, they're just adorable. <clears throat> I got this idea. Of, um, I was watching another YouTuber and she was talking about I'm combining two things together and she was talking about and she was just simply talking about mushrooms and the other thing I'm trying not to give it away so that it's a little bit of a surprise but um, she was talking about those two things in um, separately and I was like oh uh, uh, how they were trending and how the mushroom is the new this um, this year. So I was like, hey, that might be a cute idea. Let's combine the two. So this is the second one I've made. And like I said, I plan on doing one for each um, season and or holiday. So um, you'll probably see other videos where I've done, you know, as we progress through where I do these. Um, but each one will be a little bit different and have different little uh, embellishments and, and goodies. So I had taken, um, I painted the stem with the Waverly Ivory, Ivory chalk paint. And now I'm just dotting it on the, the cap. And I also um, had taken and I mixed some of that ivory with the um, Waverly Ocean. And that's what's in this little container here. And I'll, um, I had mixed that paint for project number two. So you'll see you know, what I do with it. But I decided to kind of add dabs of that color on the mushroom cap as well. And it's just real, it's really easy to do these little dots. You just, you know, the back end of a paintbrush, you can just dip it in there lightly and, and just boom, boom, boom around. There was no rhyme or reason I was trying to, other than trying not to have too many of the ivory or the blue clustered, you know, together. So I just kind of randomly put little dots around. And, um... What am I doing now? Oh, and now I'm taking some jute twine and um, gluing it to the bottom side of the mushroom cap. And I don't make you watch me glue all of them on there because there was quite a quite a few of them that I put on there. Um, I think I only, I think I cut it out after three on there, but you'll see here in a minute, um, what we're working with. Can you guess yet what I'm making with this? So sometimes this twine can be a little bit unruly and often if you, um, moisten your twine a little bit. It helps um, helps it to uh, behave better. Kind of like uh, spraying the kitty when he's doing something he ain't supposed to. Makes him behave better. So I took in, and all of those strands of twine, I had unraveled them. And I didn't want to make you watch me unravel all of them. I took another little piece of the um, air dry clay and rolled it into a little ball glued it on there, took one more piece of the twine and kind of wrapped it around the little nose. I'm sure by now you can guess that I'm making a little mushroom gnome. And he's a little fall mushroom gnome. 
So I just took and, and glued one more, you know, the, the twine over the nose and separated it. I unraveled it up and trimmed it up. Well, maybe I'll get there. I didn't think I made you watch me unravel both sides of the... Sorry about that. Then I just kind of sprayed it down a little bit more just to kind of help, um, help maneuver it around a little bit better. And then I guess I decided to make you watch me fiddle around with it, with his beard, trying to get it to lay down where I wanted it. And it gets, it, it ends up, um, not quite so unruly once I get the other stuff on here. But somehow, I think, I thought I was recording when I was putting, um, the embellishments on putting the pumpkins on there I don't know if my phone stopped recording or if I just forgot to hit the record button but I put three little um, pumpkins on in front you know in front of him he's kind of hiding behind the, the little pumpkins there peeking over so he's he's guarding his pumpkins that's what it is he's guarding his little pumpkins I just took some um, Waverly Antique Wax, and I kept uh, my brush kind of wet so that it went on more like a stain, or you could still see the wood grain um, for the parts that, that still peek through after I get done. Um, and it also helped when, when you keep your brush a little bit wet, working with the wax, it helps it glide better on onto your surface and now I'm just taking little bits of um, moss and gluing it on there I don't think the one I've got Dollar Tree for the longest time there I couldn't find Spanish moss at Dollar Tree I still if if I'm thinking about it I still don't think I've been able to find any um, Spanish moss at Dollar Tree, but they came out, they started carrying this other stuff. I'm not a huge fan of it, but it works okay for this project because I needed little bits to go in there. So it kind of worked out okay with this. Um, and I just tucked it in between the pumpkins and all that good stuff. I also put just a dab of it on top of the pumpkins as well around the peduncle and I think he just turned out oh so cute just taking a little bit it's just it, it these these teeny tiny little touches that you add to a project um, just brings it to life and, and just adds the perfect amount of character to the whole project. Um, cause I thought I was done and then I was like, Oh no, those pumpkins still look too plain. Let me put just a dab of, you know, the moss on there and see what we got. Uh, you'll see more of that in the final reveal. I've got a close up photo of it that, um, you can see. So, here I'm taking, I'm thinking this is a 15 inch wood round and I was, um, I was trying to just lay down the, the paints on there to show you what I was using instead of making you watch me paint the whole thing. Uh, so... They didn't want to stay in place. I've seen Brenda, you know, that's how Brenda kind of does it. But um, I had mixed the two together, like I said before, the ivory and the ocean to come up with that little bit lighter blue because I wanted it to mat a little bit better with, um, with the graphic on the pumpkin that I um, am putting on here. And here I'm just um, 
putting some Mod Podge down. I have a pack of embossed, you know, fall embossed papers. Um, or cardstock, I should say, because this is cardstock, it's not a paper, that, um, that I thought would look really cute. And, um, unfortunately, I had to piece it together, and I thought I might be able to get by with it, and it didn't really work, but I found a way to get around it and cover it up. <clears throat> get there eventually there we go and here it I've got this little um, metal hanging hanging sign that I I believe it I think that was a Dollar Tree item I think I got it at Dollar Tree last year or the year before it's hard to say I have so many craft supplies and I'm not the only one that that buys uh, craft supplies. My um, business partner, crafty partner, um, Dee Dee, she gets, she picks up stuff too when she's out and about. So our our, our stash is unruly. It's it, it really is. Uh, <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm not sure when we got them, but they've been in my stash at least a year. Both of us have been trying to um, behave ourselves and not go so craft supply crazy. Um, I have been griping at her for a while now that we need to craft our stash and stop buying more to stash. So I took my um, X-Acto knife and cut that paper off and then sanded around. Um, I sanded around the whole sign because there were a couple of rough spots. And now I'm just trying to get this pumpkin ready to put on here. And I'm fighting with trying to get the, the knot untied. I didn't want to cut it because it was, it was tied in a knot anyway. I still would have had to keep... But, uh, fighting with the knot because it wasn't poked through and a knot tied on it. It was tied into the holes. So either way, I had to fight with it. So I didn't make you watch me uh, make you watch me do that. All of it anyway. <clears throat> so I wanted this little pumpkin to be lifted up just to give a little bit of dimension to this. And just you know disclaimer here yes I'm using hot glue and yes that is a metal sign and yes I am very much aware that that is not gonna stay in place but I have <laughs> look at Smokey <laughs> he's so cute anyway <laughs> I had just bought a brand new tube of um, the fix-all glue and I cleaned and organized and I have no idea where I put it so once I find it, I will take that off and um and glue it on properly with that instead. <laughs> but <clears throat> it held up for for now at least to get this done and where I could do the final reveal. Um, but yeah, I will go back once I find my fix all and and you know secure it properly with something that will hold better. I, you know, if I hadn't cleaned and organized, I could have told you it was in a Hobby Lobby bag right in front of, you know, my TV stand. I cleaned and organized. Now I don't know what I did with it. it it's amazing. You know, you can, I can have bags of craft supplies all piled up and know exactly where to find something. But as soon as I clean and organize, and designate a spot for any of it, forget it. I'm not going to find it anywhere. <laughs> this is probably also why we end up with so much in our stash. 
because I'm like, I know I bought that. I know I have that. I need it. I can't find it. So I'm going to go buy another one to do this project with. The struggle is real, y'all. I'm a hot mess most days. So, um, you can see there that, um, you can see where those papers, where I, um, had to patchwork the, the cardstock. So, I decided to use this leaf to place right there, um, and kind of, you know, cover that up so it's, um, not showing. I didn't glue it down yet. I was just kind of, I'm still in my, my thought process of trying to visualize exactly how I'm going to do all of it in this particular point. Um, I finally figured it out and I'm cutting my florals now. I've got um, some of these fall leaves. Oh, and hey, if you like the content you're seeing, please like, share, comment, uh, subscribe, hit that little notification bell so that you get notified each time I upload a new video. Um, I am trying to get to a thousand subscribers by my birthday on October 16th. I last night I was at 585. I'm almost there y'all. Almost there. It's, I'm so excited. Thank you all for all your love and support. I appreciate it. It means the world to me. Anyway, so back to the, the flowers. I'm making like a, a, a swag, a floral swag to put at the top of this. And, um, just kind of playing around here trying to lay it down and I don't know why I tried to put it together laying it down like that um I know better if I don't have it in my hand I'm gonna mess it up when I pick it up which I did and had to fix it but that's okay and I prefer to use zip ties when I'm doing bows or swags or whatever because I can get those much tighter than I can if I'm trying to tie a knot, you know, with twine or string or something like that. <clears throat> and normally I would use some floral tape to wrap around all of that to hide it. Um, where all the stems are bunched together, but I couldn't find that either. Hot Mess Express here, y'all. I will probably at some point, if I find it, pull that off, wrap it, and then put it back on there on the um, door hanger. And I will also, I at this point, I had only secured it with hot glue at the top, which um, I don't trust to hold for any long term. Uh, I will go in with my stapler and, and staple it, but I was running out of time at this point. I knew the hot glue would hold long enough for me to, to do the final reveal and that I could go back in later and staple it down. And I didn't want to staple it down until I found my floral tape to wrap all of that up with. And now I'm, I'm working with um, this really pretty ribbon. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. This was... Um, this was in a bunch of stuff that I got. Uh, my friend Joy uh, had given me. She's got a shed out back. Her stepmother was a crafter and is now living in a care facility. So she was like, I just need all this mess gone. Um, so she told me, she said, come get it. It's free. Just come get it. So... Um, I, there's still a lot left there that I haven't gotten, but I'm out of room to put anything. So, I don't know. I'm just like, Ugh. I hate leaving free craft supplies behind. I mean, come on. And you'll see the shed uh, toward the end there because um, the giveaway I'm doing when I hit my thousand subscribers, I'm sharing the wealth with y'all. Um but I show, uh, I show toward the end of the video a clip of 
the shed that all of that stuff is in and all the craft supplies that she had. But this was in there and it was, I thought, oh, that is so pretty and it'll go really nice with um, this project. So that's what I decided to go with. But I'm, it's kind of a sheer ribbon. And after getting it all put together, it is really pretty, but I'm thinking I probably need to put, maybe make a little bit of a, more of a basic bow to kind of put behind that. Um, because I want to make it pop a little bit more. If I had, if I had, it, it's, we're getting affected by the, the hurricane as far as the rain and whatnot. And I had thought that, you know, like making, taking a pair of old jeans, which I have a bunch of them that my husband can't wear anymore. Um, I thought about making like a little, um, what am I trying to say? A little bow from strips of denim. But I was not going out in the rain at night in the dark trying to find it. Um, trying to find those. So I was not going to go dig through my shed and late at night in the rain. So I may add that as well. Sometimes you, you know, when you start a project, you have, you know, a visualization and, and you're working, you know, you go pick this that and the other thing and you're like oh yeah that'll you know that'll be pretty and whatnot <laughs> well pardon me but oftentimes when you get it together like you know like i've got it you'll you know look at it and realize that it's missing something so um most of the time i would run back over there and um you know, just grab what I need over, you know, over to my shed. But, like I said, nighttime, dark, rain, not having it. Not a fan of it. <laughs> so, now I've got my swag and all that on there. Sorry. I'm trying to answer. Uh, we've got storms rolling through right now, and one of my neighbors is one of the guys. He does a lot of he does my lawn work and replaced my roof and helps me out a lot. Um, just messaged me to check and make sure that I was okay because it's. He said it was getting pretty wicked over by his house. I didn't want to leave him hanging. Because I didn't want him riding over here thinking something was wrong. Because he would. He would absolutely get in his truck and come over here and make sure I'm okay. So, anyway, I took and made a little finger bow to put on the peduncle of the pumpkin. And to cover up the, the holes where that weird raffia bow that was on this thing um, was. They, they had little holes in there and it was, they used like a wire, um, like a bread tie type thing to hold it in there. So I used that to cover up those holes and I'll cover up the other holes in a minute too. And I wanted, this kind of turned out a little bit of a hot mess too. I was trying to do a very light dry brushing of the ivory over the paper to bring out because it's an embossed paper so there's a design on there <clears throat> i was trying to make that pop and um i guess i had more paint in my brush than i thought i did because it got a little heavy over on that one side but it just looks you know kind of distressed and whatnot as well so I don't know let me know what you think it I, I after I did that I was like oh I don't know if that was such a good idea but you know hey at that point I was committed right 
and here's where I put the little leaf on over there. Um, and I've got these little wooden pumpkins that I got from Hobby Lobby. And that's what I'm going to use to cover the little holes uh, that the um, hanger was in. And I just used the Waverly pumpkin to um, paint those. And then I hot glued them on. So I'm curious. Let me know what you think about this one. This one, uh, this one was, uh, it was a hot mess. What I had in my mind was, you know, once I started putting those pieces together, um, didn't quite turn out like I thought it would. And as I'm, you know, doing the voiceover for this video and editing, I'm realizing, you know, oh, hey, I could have, you know, done this, that, or the other. So, all right, here's, here is that shed of craft supplies. You see all that? All of that was free to me. I did not get all of that yet. I may still go over there and get more. But anyway, when I hit a thousand uh, subscribers, I'm doing at least one giveaway. I will probably do more, but I'm doing at least one giveaway and sharing the wealth of those free craft supplies with y'all. So, um, just wanted to say thanks for watching and I hope y'all have a great day.